Hello with a new camera! <laughs> Hello, this is Kachi and welcome to my channel. So, as you can see by the title, we're doing another try and haul, this time with the online store called Shopsider. So I came across Shopsider multiple times on Instagram and Facebook and they seem to have really some interesting and unique designs. And especially, they kind of have an old school look to it. That's why I really wanted to try it out. And now I finally got to make an order and got some items from there. So, if you like what you see, make sure you subscribe and become a catcher. But besides that, let's start the video. So, I have quite some interesting pieces here and I always place a picture and the price right here. So I got multiple sets and I think we should start off with one. So let's get into one of these and that's the second item. So. So let's open up the first bag. So here we have a really interesting design of a set as it has quite an intense pattern. So here we have the top half. So far I can definitely tell it needs a steam. But the pattern itself looks really nice and same as on the picture. The fabric itself actually feels kind of a bit cheap, I have to admit. Even though it wasn't looking cheap on the picture, but it kind of feels like really, really thin. Not like it's see-through in any kind. It's still like really a thin material that feels cheap. The sewing part seems to be just fine. So um, maybe if I put it on, it might look a bit different. But yeah, that's basically the pattern it has. On the top half, we have a long sleeve, flared out top that you can tie up in the front, which is going to be really interesting. And then for the bottom half, we have the matching piece, but for pants. So here are the pants and they have kind of like a white leg situation. Also again, they kind of need a steam and the fabric itself is really quite thin and also not flexible at all. So this better fit. XS, I hope it should fit. It's also, I think, high-waisted and they both together look really nice on the pictures, but I really wanted to see how they look in real life. So let's try on this whole set. And here we have the first set. So first of all, I do really love the sleeves. On the other hand, I'm not 100% sure if I'm kind of sold to this outfit. I still think the pictures on the website look better than now. So at first of all, I thought the material was a bit more flexible than that because now it's not 100% fitting perfectly. So there's a bit of extra space right here. And tying it up because it's not flexible at all is also a bit weird because it seems like there are some loose parts now. I really like the sleeves and I do really like the pattern and the design of it. I might have to um, shorten up the pants a bit and also steam them, but then it would at least be a really nice look and I would definitely wear it. But just so you know, it's no flexible material. So keep that in mind when shopping and definitely make sure to check the size charts. Next item. So. It seems to me that houndstooth now is kind of like a popular pattern as I see it all the time, everywhere, in every store, even on Shopsider. So I saw this really pretty dress that uses the houndstooth pattern in black and white, but also doesn't look like it's overloaded with the pattern. So it still has like a unique cut. And here is the dress. Oh my gosh, I can already tell this is going to look so cute. So here, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, the fabric feels so much nicer than the other one. It's really soft and cozy. And here we have definitely a lot of stretch to it. We also have a little cinching part in the middle. We have those nice little buttons. Here we have the houndstooth pattern in combination with um, black stripes. Also some hole to neck situation and no sleeves, which is kind of like an interesting uh, combination for a dress. But it kind of looked really cute on the picture, so I thought, yeah, why not just try it out <laughs> and see. So yeah, why not just try it out and see. <laughs> okay, so I think I was a bit too enthusiastic about this dress. I kind of thought it was more flared out that now it kind of is coming in right here so I kind of look like a pumpkin. <laughs> the fabric on the other hand, I mean like before it is really perfect, really nice to wear but then on the other hand 
I really do feel like a pumpkin. I also find it kind of weird that the buttons stop right here, where there's still kind of things to cover. So I kind of find that weird, but there is an access button, so I might just sew it on here, but then it might even look more like a pumpkin. This is kind of a bit sad. I really had a lot of hopes for this dress. Kind of thought it was really flared out and really pretty, but yeah, I mean, it still looks nice and interesting, but not as good as I thought it was going to look like. Kind of sad. Next item. So, this item is again another set. So, and this one is going to be green. Let's start off with the top. Here is the top and how it looks like. And here is what I got. So, first of all, I really thought these ones were like real aluminum or something, you know, heavier. But now, if I hear it, it is like really a lot of plastic. So, there might be a chance that it kind of washes off. Other than that, it is a pretty nice but also simple top has a little zipper in the back. The fabric also isn't like too stretchy, so we hope that it's going to fit me quite well. And now, the bottom half. So the bottom half is matching, of course, in color with the top, and it's going to be a high-waisted pair of pants. Again, also might need a bit of a steam. It is a white leg pair of pants and here at least we kind of have a little stretchy band on the back uh, to it and we have the zipper on the side which is also kind of interesting so that you're not really going to see it. So yeah, I hope this one uh, should fit quite well. As you know, we do have a little bit of room in it. So um, yeah, why not just try out the whole set together. Okay, so this now it's finally something I was more expecting. I really do like the set. So I'm actually also quite lucky that it fits like perfectly and I do like now that it has at least a bit of a flexible part. I think the pants look really great in combination with the top. The little uh, silver parts over here and here, they are really interesting and I think they look quite pretty. Um, the crop top itself is quite comfortable, it seems to be well made. I just need to give the pants a bit of a steam, but then I think it would look really great. Really interesting set that I found. I think they also have it in multiple colors and in some different top uh, bottom combinations. I think they have like a similar but a longer sleeve top. So you might want to check that one out. So next item that I got is this little pair of shorts, skirts, skirt. So it is a pair of shorts that looks like a skirt because it kind of is flared out to the sides, which kind of makes it look like a skirt. So here it is. Let's take a look at it. So that's going to be this little pair. Again, it definitely needs a steam. There are a lot of crinkles in there. It first of all has pockets, which is great. We do have a zipper and a button. And yeah, I'm not 100% sure how see-through it is going to be. Um, but yeah, and there is not like a double layer or something. So I guess we just have to see. And I still thought it was kind of a bit more of a stronger material. It also again feels a bit thin, in my opinion, for a skirt. But I guess we just have to try it on and see. Let's also pair with another item that I got. And that's going to be this top that I got. So here is the picture. And it supposedly look like a long sleeve, flared out crop top that is white with some black stripes. And Hopefully it looks like the picture. So here, I prefer the fabric that is on here. It feels really well made. And here we have the top half and I especially like the flared out part and with the black ends. I think it looks really unique and interesting. And also you have to tie it up so in the front and then I think you can make like a crisscross effect because there's a lot of the string to it. So yeah. Why not just try those pieces out together in an outfit? Okay, so now let's talk about this outfit. So, the bottom half definitely needs a steam, a bit of ironing. You can tell it would look much better 
uh, the pleated part in the front if it was a bit ironed. So I definitely need to do that. Then I think it has the look that I was going for and looks nice. And also I think the fit isn't that bad. Even though it's also not flexible or stretchy. But I think I can definitely make it work and it's comfortable to wear. The top half I think is perfect. I think it also looks like the picture. I like the fabric, the flexibility that it has. Um, I only would say that you probably kind of need to make those bands a bit shorter because I wrapped it around like five times and there's still quite a lot of fabric. The wrap around part, I think it looks quite interesting uh, with this crop top and the black stripes kind of uh, gives everything a little bit of an edge, a bit of a unique style. So I really do like this one and I'm going to wear it so many times I can already tell in my other outfits. So. And the last and final item is another dress that I got and it's also the color green. So here we have a green velvet dress that looked really cute on the picture. And here is what I got. The velvet definitely feels really, really nice. And here is the whole dress. So we kind of have an asymmetric look to it uh, with the longer and the shorter part of the skirt. Then we have uh, spaghetti holders. It seems to be still quite flexible for a velvet fabric. So that's good. And then we have, you know, this little droosh part or ruffled part in the front. Um, I think that's going to look really nice on the chest. That's the last dress that I got. I think we should put this dress to the test and try it on. Okay, so this one is definitely my favorite item from this whole haul. Because, I don't know, it just has the perfect mixture of stylish, unique and uh, still wearable for like every day and it's also really comfortable um, you can adjust the straps as you like the texture of the fabric you know velvet is like really soft and nice to the touch so it's, I do like the asymmetric part in the front with the skirt and I do think it sits quite nicely on my body so I'm actually really surprised I do really really like this one it's definitely my favorite I'm going to wear really often I also think the color fits quite well with my hair so yeah I definitely give this one a big thumbs up that was it for the video thanks for watching bye